I'm actually a bit surprised that it didn't happen sooner. Based on what has gone on over the last eight months, I believe that Colorado has shown a great amount of patience um, in dealing with the Pac-12 and and what could potentially come from a television deal. And ultimately, what they saw was more stability, more exposure, um, a revenue picture that looked uh, much more stable, (laughs) to continue to quote Rick George. And in a lot of ways, when you sit back and you look at it with all the things that I've just talked about over the last few minutes, this was a bit of a no-brainer. It's a bit of a no-brainer. And at times you can wonder like, wow, I'm shocked that it took this long. You're going to read a lot about how this could be about, you know, like, you know, the the wins and losses, and this can be about, you know, what, what programs are the strongest. And, and this could be about, well, from Colorado's perspective, Dion wants to recruit in Texas. You see, I, I don't think it's necessarily about those things. I think it's more about what I've been talking about from a marketplace standpoint. And then you get into Colorado makes this move. This move is beyond coach prime. This move is for the future of the athletic department and institution. They needed to make this move because of the instability of the PAC 12 clearly, and what they viewed as a better partnership and way forward into the future in the big 12. Um, After USC and UCLA moved, you know, the PAC 12 was already on shaky ground and that became even, you know, more shaky when the deal never arrived, when they were beat to market by the Big 12. And so everything that happened further destabilized that conference and and led to Colorado making this decision to go out there and, and join forces with the Big 12 and kind of go, go um, back home, if you will. Um, where does that leave us? And actually, last thing on Colorado. Can we just take a parachute out for a moment? If you all of a sudden just just for a moment, go back. This is a one in eleven football team that lost by an average of twenty nine points and had one, maybe two winning seasons dating back to two thousand five. And In the span of, call it eight months, the athletic director at Colorado, Rick George, and the chancellor, Phil DiStefano, have made massive decisions that were bold, that were, I mean, to to put it lightly, like legacy. Decisions, the first, hiring Deion Sanders, and the second is making this move to the Big 12. You can make an argument that in the last eight months, no athletic director has done more for his school than what Rick George has done at the University of Colorado. This is a school that's going to be on big noon Saturday, the first two weeks of the season. They got a five-star recruit. They got the number one transfer it out of the portal. They got a coach that is a, a, a gold jacket Hall of Famer. They sold out their spring game. They're moving to the Big 12, getting a full share in their first season. Rick, I mean, like, they're a, they were a 1 and 11 team and lost by an average of 29. And, and the offseason that this program has had, whether I went there or not, I'd be saying this like, there, there hasn't been a better offseason in college football or in college athletics. Not in my estimation. There's been some really good hires out there. People have had great recruiting classes. But when you look at the actual impact of what they were, what they are, and what they could be moving forward with these decisions, these, these decisions are like way, 
way beyond what I think anybody could have possibly imagined. And so, you know, I'm proud of, of Rick. I know him well. I'm proud of Rick and what he can do. Um, and, and this, in some ways, because of what Brett told us on the show in Big Noon Conversations, when he's, when I asked him about, like, if you're expanding, what do you look for? And he talked about brand upside. Well, you know what brand upside means? The prime effect. We talk about it on this show. We've kind of coined it on this show. Everything gets bigger with Deion Sanders. Okay. Now people will take shots and you see it all over college football coaches taking shots at him, but everything that, that you could see that has potential to it, it goes to a 10 as well. That's the prime effect. Do you think Colorado's in the big 12 without Deion Sanders? I don't know. I don't know. That's, I think that's a great question. You can make an argument that they, that they wouldn't be because they wouldn't have that brand upside. So these decisions, I tell you what, they are, they are generational in their impact of what uh, Phil DeStefano, the chancellor, and uh, Rick George, the AD, have made at Colorado.